Well, red is the color of the season, but how exactly do you know what hue is the right one for you? Well, Live at Five style contributor Paul Trailer joins us now with more. And how do you know which one is right for you? Well, you know, right now you look at all the uh, colors of the leaves there. You know, you've got bright oranges, you've got rust, you've got really ruby reds. And if you look at the spectrum of red colors, they go from apricots, they go to strawberry blondes, they go to the gingers, the cinnamons, all the way to your burgundies. Right. Right. And a lot of that entails in what is your skin color, mm -hmm. what's your eye color, and then also what is your natural hair color. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those will give you some ideas on how to adopt which one. Anybody can be red. Really, virtually anyone can. The trick to it is getting the right tone to go with your skin color and eye color. Okay. Uh, I brought you a model in this morning or this afternoon, and this young lady went a big extreme a color. Big difference. Exactly. And what we've got is a before picture. This is our model, Shannon. And as you see, beautiful blonde. And what we're finding with a lot of the younger uh, group is they're doing these really bright ruby colors. Mm -hmm. Okay. And as we'll show our model, is she has got this really intense red. And there wow. she is. Wow. Uh, I tell you, it's just a huge makeover. What she just, and all we did is the hair color. That right there made such a huge impact in her life. She goes through every day just mesmerized by it. And I <laughs> asked her, you know, uh, how do you like it? She, I really can't see myself blonde. And so anymore, that's going through the pictures. Exactly. And so this right here is a really good change for her. Uh, it works with her skin color, makes her blue eyes just really pop. And a lot of people think that the blonde will do that with uh, uh, blonde hair makes blue eyes really stand out, but the red really, really does makes them really pop for you. Yeah, and even her skin tone. I mean, the whole the whole package is that's, is beautiful together. That's you really can't mess that up. No. So, and the thing is with reds, you know, there are so many different things that you can do. You don't have to do a big change like her. You can come through and just do a little simple color wash, and that will add just a shimmer of red, copper, whatever you want to into the hair. You can work in a few little isolated panels, okay? In other words, just a little bold streak of it. The darker the hair, the bigger the streak. Mm -hmm. The lighter the hair, maybe the smaller the streak. So you can just kind of creep into it subtly, or you can do something really drastic. Brown hair, that is one that can almost be any color of red. Mm -hmm. You can go darker, you can go lighter with it. If lighter color like you, you want to stay more in the gingers, the strawberry blondes, things of that nature. Mm -hmm. uh, you can be drastic and, you know, like say the younger generation does some in your face type looks. Right. And that right there can be really neat, but think about it. It's only hair color. It's a, even though we call it permanent, it's still a temporary application. Now, when you go from those drastic looks, say from your blonde to the dark or the the really vibrant reds. Yes. How long does that color last? You know, that is the biggest challenge with reds. Reds fade so quickly. Mm -hmm. And w there's a few tips that we can give you that will help to keep it in. Try not to shampoo daily. And when you do shampoo, you want to use a color safe shampoo. Mm -hmm. Moisturize it to close the cuticle down. That conditioner is really important. Then if you can as cool of a rinse as possible. Nobody likes taking cold showers, but that is one of the best treatments uh, for If you just lean back, arch that back. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> and then once the cuticle does close, and that's about the first week to week and a half, once that closes down, then the color will stay in a lot longer. But that very first week is when the hair wants to, uh, the color wants to come out real easily. So take your care with it then. But you're looking at how long will it last? You know, you've got that six weeks eight weeks before you have to look at touch up. So you're looking at a little bit more maintenance if yes. you've got lighter hair. Yes, ma'am. All right, Paul, as always, we appreciate your advice yes. and your tips.